New York Yankees fans, how's it going? Yet again, you are tuned in to the NYY News YouTube channel, and this is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, hola, como estas? Yankees fans, let's talk about the recent news that is out there that Bryce Harper is really not on the Yankees' radar. That is fake news being pushed out by, let's say, SNY writers. I do not believe that. Here's why. Harper is a left-handed bat. That's all you got to know. Also, the Dodgers are said to be, let's say, interested in signing Harper. I don't see Harper signing with the Dodgers, but this does confirm that the Dodgers are willing to take on a big contract. And who's worth less than Machado and Harper? Stanton. I know I keep regurgitating the same thing over and over, but I can see the Dodgers being interested in Stanton if Harper or Machado lands on the Yankees or Phillies or Nationals, whatever. The Nationals are willing to spend as well. And let's say the White Sox or whatever. But I highly doubt the White Sox sign either Machado or Harper. Maybe a Machado. Who knows? It also looks like the Phillies are going to outspend all the other teams for Corbin. Corbin has a great relationship with the GM of the Nationals, so who knows? He is picking between the Yankees, Nationals, and Phillies, but the Phillies are letting it be known that, hey, we're willing to outspend any team for Patrick Corbin. Also, there's been word that Sonny Gray is going to be moved soon. The favorite team to land them is the Brewers, but who knows? He might wind up on the Reds or maybe a team like the Athletics. I mean, the Athletics, in my honest opinion, are really stupid if they do not, let's say, upgrade their rotation when they came off a season where they won 95 games. I mean, they're really stupid if they don't approach the Yankees for Gray, in my honest opinion. But you could see Gray maybe headed to the Reds or Brewers. That's the talk out as of now. To be honest with you folks, I prefer a team with Gary Sanchez, Riamuta, and Harper. That would be my dream team. And the Yankees are about to get a haul for Gray, and they might get a haul for Stanton, prospect-wise. So you can't count out the Yankees making a trade for Riamuta. Brian Cashman confirmed yet again that he's not trading Gary Sanchez, confirming what I said. John Heyman threw out the idea that the Yankees are shopping Gary for uh, Riamutu. I called it. I said, hey, that's just dumb. But what I can see is that the Yankees would prefer a catcher like Riamutu having pictures like Paxton, Severino, even the bullpen guys. Having a reliable catcher behind the plate because obviously the Yankees are going to upgrade their starting rotation this up and coming season. So Gary Sanchez is going to have a hard time. So in my opinion, the Yankees' number one priorities are adding an infielder, pitchers, and also a catcher. That's my honest opinion. So before I end this video, I would like to give a special shout out to my nephew Tyler Nunez who just turned 11. Who is a big fan of the New York Yankees and NYNews.com. He is deserving of this shout out because over the weekend he hit an absolute monster shot, a three run blast. He is batting 407 for the season, and over the weekend he had over five RBIs. Check out the power on my nephew. I mean, great form. Check it out. Back, back. Here, It's time.